Good day, mate. How you going? Let's go with the Bible again. Yes. Um, if you ignore criticism, you will end in poverty and disgrace. Boom. Yes, I started strong today. Yes. Um, very touchy. Yeah. So if you ignore, if you refuse to acknowledge, if you refuse to admit, yes. If you don't want to admit criticism, yes, and what is criticism? Is when people disapprove, yes, something wrong you did, yes. If someone disapproves, uh, your failure, yes. So, um, if someone is telling you that you failed, and why you failed, and if people are telling you, you did something wrong, and you don't accept that, you refuse to admit that you made a mistake or that you failed, you will live, you will end in poverty without possessions, material possessions, without money or with very uh, little money, very few possessions. Yes, and disgrace. Yes, what is disgrace? You will live, you will end in um, dishonor. Yes, you will not have integrity. You will lack inter integrity. Yes, your reputation will be damaged. So you have to be, um, to accept criticism, yes. No matter what, no matter what other people's intentions are when they are criticizing you, take the good side of it, yes. Use um, what you think that could be best for you, that could help you improve as a person. And yeah, use the criticism to be honored. Yes, you, if you, the Bible says here, if you accept correction, you will be honored. Yes, people will respect more once you accept that you were wrong. Yes, God will love you much more when you accept that. When you say, yes, I admit, I did something wrong. I failed here and now we'll do better now. I will improve next time. I won't be making this mistake. And if I do, I know what to do to correct it. Yes, that's what you got to do. Yes, if you listen uh, to constructive criticism, you will be at home among the wise. Yes, so you'll be among those who have, you will know how to have and utilize knowledge. But you have to listen to the constructive criticism, like I said, no matter what other people's intentions are. Yes, try to take the constructive uh uh, side of it of the criticism what's positive about the criticism and what you can change in your life to be a better person yeah um, if Bible again is yes, if you reject discipline you only harm yourself yes so don't reject discipline don't resist the discipline yes don't resist what you can do to improve yourself yes the discipline is everything you do to improve yourself yes so if it's studying for you keep studying studying if it's reading keep reading if it's working keep working yes if in the moment yes we have different moments in life we are different people different personalities but whatever you see that you can improve as a person or as a professional or in a relationship, whatever, in whatever situation, just do it, yes. Be disciplined, do what you gotta do to improve as a person, yes. If you don't do that, if you resist, you only harm yourself, yes. You only change yourself for the worse, yes. And you don't wanna change yourself for the worse, yes. You wanna change yourself for the better. You want to improve, you wanna be better, yes not only especially for yourself especially for god but not only for god and for yourself but for other people as well you gotta be the example if you are the example to other people and show that you can other people will think not everyone of course yes but many people will think with you if he or she can do that i can do that as well yes i'll go for it so be a great example to people God loves when we are great for him, for ourselves, and consequently to other people, yes? So just do that, yeah? 
But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. Yes. So you have to listen to the correction. Yes. How can you fix that mistake? How can you correct that mistake? How can you not fail next time? How can you pass next time? How can you evolve? How can you develop your abilities? How can you grow next time? Yes. And you grow in understanding if you accept the correction. Yes. So accept the correction. Yes. If we accept the constructive criticism, we can grow. Yes, professionally, personally, mentally, physically, psychologically, all colleagues, po ways possible, possible, yes. Um, so, and once we start improving, we have to be very careful, yes, because once we start improving, we might become very critical, yes, too, too critical. Yes, of others. Yes, we have this tendency to call attention to people's errors and flaws. Yes, so be careful. Yes, when you want to criticize people, uh, take care of your own problems before criticizing others. Yes, because sometimes we are improving ourselves and we think we are better than others, but that is not true. Yes, so we should not criticize others even before we even before or after we take care of our problems but we have to take care of our problems first because sometimes we criticize people of problems that we are facing at the moment yes so if it's a problem that i'm facing why am i why do i want to give you an example if i cannot fix myself yes so fix yourself first and then you can criticize others, but criticize in a constructive way, yes, in a loving manner. Criticism should be given with a loving attitude. Yes, we should criticize in a loving way. Yes, in a way that people will receive that positively and will, um, in, a, in an optimistic way, improve their lives. Okay, but we have to be positive on our criticism. We have to be loving. Criticism should help people deepen their relationship with God. So they should become better in their relationship with God once you criticize them. Yes, and not the opposite. So make sure that every criticism you make, you are leading people to God's way of, life, of living. Okay, how Jesus lived. Yes. Remember I said that. What would you, what would Jesus do in this situation? Yes. And that's how we um know what to do. Yes. Harsh criticism can destroy rather than help though. Yes. So every cruel, every unkind criticism can destroy. Yes. So don't be harsh on people yes make sure every time you criticize criticizing a loving attitude and everything will be better for you and for people who are with you because when you criticize and it's constructive you don't only improve the other but you also improve yourself yes because when we teach we learn twice as much and that is good yes God is good so please Listen to God, talk to God, and criticize people with a loving attitude. You see things improving in your life and in other people's lives. Thank you, guys. Peace. Think about that. God loves you. Cheers.